Washington. Do you know whose face this is? What about this? Here's a hint. They are the same person. How about some more hints? He was born in Virginia on February 22, 1732. This period in history was known as the Colonial Times. He was also the very first president of the United States and was called the father of our country. Did you guess George Washington? If you did, you're right. Now, let's find out some more things about George Washington. George Washington's dad died when George was only 11 years old. After his dad died, he moved in with his older brother Lawrence, who took care of him. Lawrence helped teach George to be a gentleman. He made sure George went to school where he was taught math and reading. George learned to work hard, to do well in school, and to make important contributions to America. At age 16, George got a job as a surveyor. Surveyors measure the size of land and make maps using that information. Around the age of 19, George became a soldier during the French and Indian War. France and British America fought over land they both wanted. The British Americans won that war, but the battle eventually led to another war called the American Revolution. During the American Revolution, the American colonists fought against Britain for their freedom. The British wanted to control the 13 colonies where Washington and other colonists lived. This upset George and the colonists because the treatment from the British was unfair. They tried to get the British to change their ways, but the British refused. So the colonies decided to go to war with the British, and Washington was chosen to lead the American colonists. His army was called the Continental Army. It was a very difficult job for George to lead the army because the colonists were not trained soldiers like the British were. They were farmers. But George kept that army together, even though they lost a few battles during the war. One of Washington's most famous victories of the American Revolution was when he decided to cross the Delaware River on Christmas Day in 1776. It was a very cold, windy, and snowy day. The British soldiers on the other side of the river were not expecting to be attacked because the weather was so bad and it was Christmas Day. But that's what made Washington's strategy so good. The British soldiers were not prepared and soon surrendered or gave up. George's army took many prisoners and won that battle. One of America's future presidents, James Monroe, was part of George's army when they crossed the Delaware. This was a very important win for George and the army of colonists, because right before they crossed the Delaware, many in his army were ready to give up. A lot of them were injured and wanted to leave. Winning that battle gave Georgia's soldiers courage to finish the war. The American Revolution ended up lasting six years. The American colonists eventually won the war. The 13 colonies were no longer under British rule. They were now free. This was the beginning of the United States of America. George Washington and his soldiers sacrificed a lot during the American Revolution. Many of them even lost their lives so that America could become a free country. Several years after the war, Washington was elected to be the first president of the United States. He served as president from 1789 until 1797. The government he helped create and guide followed the principles of the Constitution. Since George was the first president, he set the example for future presidents of how to lead America. After eight years or two terms in office, George decided it was time to stop being president and to let someone else lead the country. He thought that it was important that no one be president for too long so that they didn't become too powerful. Today, our presidents 
can only serve up to two terms or eight years in office. A few years after Washington left the office of president, he became very sick with a throat infection. On December 14, 1799, George Washington died. You may have heard the story about George Washington when, as a young boy, he cut down a cherry tree. When his dad asked him who did it, George said that he could not tell a lie, that he had cut it down. Although George Washington was an honest person, that story is not true. Something interesting about George Washington is that he never lived in the White House or even in Washington, D.C., where the President of the United States lives today. Instead, when George was president, he lived in New York City. That was where the Capitol was at the time. It then moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Finally, the Capitol moved to an area that was named Washington, D.C. after George Washington. Washington was the only president who was elected by a unanimous vote. That means that every one of the state representatives voted for him to be president. Even though Washington owned slaves, he didn't like the practice of slavery, and he often spoke of wanting to end it. But it wasn't until after Washington died that his slaves were finally set free, because he had written in his will that was what he wanted done. Today, George Washington is still one of the most popular and beloved presidents. Be sure to subscribe.